What's up, y'all? What's going on? It's your boy, Jay. Uh, I'm making this video for my subscribers. Um, I'm making it for y'all. Um, reason being is because it's like, I don't want to just like take this break. Yeah, it's a break. I don't want to take this break and then come back and lose half my damn subscribers on my channel. You know, um, thank y'all so much for subscribing to my channel. I greatly love and appreciate it. It means the world. I think I got over like 165. We're going to keep growing. We're going to get better. Um, but yeah, man, I just want to say first and foremost, thank you so much. I'm making this video because I wanted to update y'all. You know, y'all the people that I care about, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, y'all y'all, y'all invested yourselves in my channel, you know what I mean? When you didn't even have to, you know? You shared and liked my videos. So thank you. I greatly appreciate it. So this is just an update for y'all. Um, I got two big things going on in my life right now, and they both heavily disrupt my mental. Like, my, my mental state of mind is really, really, like, thrown off because of these things, all right? I'm gonna start with the first thing. I got a lot of old stuff in the past lately. These past few months have been rough. I got a lot of old stuff in the past that keeps resurfacing and it's gotten to a point to where a lot of it just disrupts my normal, if not my daily way of life. You know, um, I'm a huge overthinker. I'm gonna keep it 100,000. I overthink a lot of things. Um, sometimes that's a blessing and a curse. But when you got stuff I got old stuff in the past that keep resurfacing and I got another long list of personal problems that I need to work on and grow through and develop. And the problem is, is that like, I'm not addressing these issues and these problems properly and it's disrupting my mental, it's disrupting my daily life, like I just said. And another thing is too, whenever I'm trying to create and make content for you guys, I run into technical problems, like, you know, just the nature of technology, but, um, it's one of those things where let's say if I'm trying to upload a video or create something, right? And I'm trying to upload a video or create something. And next thing you know, like my computer acts up or iMovie crashes or Final Cut, like, cause I have them both. I'm just messing between the two, but you know, they crash. You know what I'm saying? I'm having all these technical problems and the old me in the past, the first two years when I started making my YouTube videos, I was determined to fix and resolve my issues. I had something pop up, I'll get excited about fixing it, resolving it, all right, cool, upload the video, be good and dandy, right? But now, man, like, the past few months, whenever I have a technical issue or a problem, instead of getting excited, disciplined, and determined to fix it, I've been getting pissed off, mad, and frustrated, and then I say, just fuck the whole project as a whole. You know, I, I just say fuck it because I don't have the mental capacity for some strange reason. It's like I used to be able to make, create content and videos. I used to have like a good sense of fluidity, you know, make a clip, 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 clip. You know what I mean? Just put it together and bow. But the past few months, that hasn't been as easy. Not because it's more problems, but it's like, I don't know. Suddenly, my lack of patience and discipline and desire is destroyed right now because of the stuff I just said a moment ago. It just I got a lot of personal stuff. I got a lot of things that's disrupting my way of life. You know, my daily living, like to give you an example, like I had BJ, my dog for the past four years. Okay. I came down last week, had a good amount of sleep. My mom was downstairs. She was on the phone. BJ was started barking, right? Now I know BJ, he's my dog. I had him for four years. Usually when he barks, there's something wrong or he has to go pee. But bro, now in less than a minute after coming downstairs, he starts barking and I snapped on him. I got mad. I'm like, yo, BJ, what the F, y'all did this, y'all did that. And my mom looked at me crazy like, you all right, what's, what's going on? I said, no, I'm fine. So she let BJ outside and he peed. All BJ was saying is that he had to pee. But instead of opening the door for him, I got mad and I snapped at him, bro. First thing in the morning. And my mom's like, you good? I said, I'm fine. She said, no, you're not. You don't snap on BJ like that. I never seen you snap on a BJ like that. So that's when I knew that there's some deeper issues I need to work on, bro. Like I'm snapping on my dog randomly. Like not only that, despite the fact that we got new management, I've been tempted to go with my managers a couple of times because it's like, I'm trying to move out here in the next couple of months. You know, they need you to have a steady job, steady income, et cetera, et cetera. And two weeks in bro, I got new management. So I'm having to readjust and do the things the way they want. You know, I'm over here getting a schedule with 12 to nines 
but it goes from a 12 to 9 to like 12 to 12 to like 9 30 9 40 and it's been like that every week i've been getting mad over time but i haven't been able to get the greatest amount of sleep you know because i need to get some mirror plugs because bj when he barks downstairs out of everybody in the house i for some reason hear him so when you got your dog waking you up two three days out of the middle of the night at three o'clock in the morning just to go piss that just fucks up your sleep schedule you know so it's a little ass thing but you know like i'm telling you like i've been getting mad and frustrated over a little as shit you know and i'm not myself anymore right now i really am not it's my mental is i'm, I'm just not i'm struggling i'm gonna keep it a hundred thousand with y'all you know my mental it hasn't been good you know so i need to take a step back rebalance myself just pull my shit together you know and i'm making this video for y'all you know what i mean because it's like like i said i, I don't want to take this break and fix my stuff and then come back and lose half my damn subs. You know, I figured I care enough about you guys that you will understand that I'm making this effort just so y'all can, you know, so y'all feel me. So yeah, man, that's that's the first reason, okay? Or the first issue, I just gotta work up here. The second one, I was gonna like kind of script this out, but like I said, I made a vow to just be 100% honest on my channel. I may lose friends over this, but at this point, I don't care because I've been dealing with this issue here for the past two to three years. It's a mixture of just the other people that I may need to get rid of, along with some mental growth on my part. I got a lot of mental growth I need to do, but I'm going to get straight to it. The second reason is it would be nice, man, if I had somebody. I got all these people in my life that claim that they got my back. 100 grand and support me etc etc and i'm talking about in my, my personal life you know what i mean i'm excluding my family my family nah my family's good i'm just talking about you know the people in my life um i got a lot of people in my life they say they got my back they're always there for me etc etc right but it would be nice bro if i had somebody take time out of their day genuine interest to hit me up and be like hey jay how are you doing bro how's it going Hey, man, I like your post. I like your content. That video was funny. But aside from all that, bro, how are you doing? How's it going, man? How's that issue you were dealing with a couple months back? Did it resolve? You know? Why, does, why do I feel like we live in a society where we always have to wait for something to happen with somebody or for somebody to cry for help just to get some just to get some genuine interest from somebody. I'm not talking about from a relationship standpoint, you know? But I feel like I got a lot of people in my life, the only time they wanna reach out to me or hit me up is when I post something negative or something happens. And that bothers me. My definition of a friend, the way I was born and raised, they check on you and hit you up regardless. And the thing is, they don't they don't even hang out with you 24 seven. You can go five, six, seven months without hanging out. At least within those five, six, seven months, somebody will make an effort to hit you up and see how you're doing. Not only hit you up when they got a problem or they need your advice or they need your energy. And I've been noticing I got a lot of people in my life that that's what it feels like. OK, now I know the next question is, well, Jay, how come you won't go out and tell anybody that's how you feel? Well, this is the next part that I'm saying I need to work on my mental growth a little bit. When you're around people long enough, damn near your whole life from elementary school and up, you know how they think. You know how they're going to respond to things based on their daily actions and how they are as a person. You know them, all right? And you haven't seen any signs within the past few years that they have changed or developed in any way or form of their mental. The reason why I don't tell nobody is because I know there's three excuses or reasons that people are going to use. The first one is, I've been busy. Second is, I've been working. And the third one is, you know, I've just been doing me. Now, check this out. I need y'all to film me on these next few minutes here. Those three reasons are valid reasons. Those are valid reasons. And it is what it is. I can't get mad at somebody for those three reasons. If I were to tell somebody that and they respond in that way or fashion, I can't get mad at them for it. Even though we're friends and we boys or homies or whatever it may be, you know what I'm saying? I guess sending somebody a text or hitting somebody up just out of pure, genuine interest to see how they're doing is asking too much. 
Like I said, we live in a society where people have to wait for some shit to happen just to check and see how somebody's doing. Or you could check somebody's story. I got more people in my life that check my story that's part of my life that check my story more than they do sending me a text to see how I'm doing. And that's just frustrating. Then you throw COVID in the mix, you know? I haven't been hanging out with people just because my family has expressed concerns about that. But even if then, you heard me say it earlier, you don't even need to hit me up all the time. I don't even need to hang out with you. But bro, it would be nice every once in a while, every blue moon, bro, this little thing, hit me up and see how I'm doing. That's all I asked for because I've done it in the past. I reached out to people to see how they're doing. And a lot of times they're either at work or they're doing something else or their conversation is really short because they're busy or doing something else. But once again, why can I get mad at you that? Blah, 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 blah. Why would I get mad at you for that? I can't get mad at you for that. I also can get mad at people for not thinking and seeing things the way I see them. I also can get mad at people for not feeling the way I feel. I can't get mad at people that don't have the same definition as a friend as I do. I got people in my life that I was close with, but they drive past my house to go hang out with other people. One of the people in my, one of the people in my life do that. They have to literally drive past my house to go hang out with other people. And more occasions, it's more than just business. A lot of times it's to hang out. But I find, I feel like I catch myself, and mind you, all this is pre-COVID. I catch myself having to go to them more than they come to me. You know? And it's like, I feel like, yeah, I could tell them that. But see, you know how that sounds? Like, really, though, let's keep it 100,000. Hey, man, it will be nice every once in a while you hit me up just to see how I'm doing. You know how that sounds in some people's eyes? That's going to sound extra sensitive or overthinking, you know. And once again, like I said, if none of this is making sense, this is another reason why I'm telling you I just need a break to work. I need to work through this shit, you know. And another thing is, is that I'm 25, man. I'm 25 years old. I'm a grown ass man. There's no reason why this shit should be bothering me to the degree that it does. I notice I got a lot of people in my life that are energy vampires. You know, there's a few people in my life that are energy vampires and they're in denial about it, you know? And the thing is, is that like, I'm already having trust issues with people because I started having trust issues with people that I was close with because of their actions. But I know if I call them out on it, I already know what the response is. Not only that, I've done it before in the past on a few occasions. On a few occasions, I've done it before in the past and it didn't go in my favor. It always came off wrong. I'm an open book, bro. I'm an open book. But if I know you're not going to understand it, if you can't take two minutes just to look at something from my perspective. If I know that if you're if you're going to respond to me with the argument instead of taking a minute to listen to what I say, then give a response. If I already know you're not going to do that, you're going to get offended right off the bat. What good is it going to do for me to call you out on it? What good does that do? You know? Not meaning going to ramble, but I'm just being a hundred with y'all because it's like I need to, like I said, I'm 25. There's no reason why this shit should be bothering me to the degree that it does, you know. And it's like you factor in COVID. I already can't go out and hang out with many people anyways, you know, but I just think. I just feel like the people in my life. They hang out so much already you know, on a regular basis, and I can't even get a text to see how I'm doing. I got people in my life, you know, that, that say that they claim they got my back, but nobody's there for me when I'm down. Why do I feel like I have to go seek out and get help? Why do I feel like I have to go seek out and get help from people that claim they got my back and they're there for me? But we can go four or five, six months, no talking at all, but y'all are still hanging out and chilling and stuff. Knowing I would love to do that. But mind you, this type of stuff has been happening before COVID. You know? So, like I said, I may lose friends over it. 
you know but it goes back to what I, it goes back to what I was just saying I can't get mad at you for not understanding something I can't get mad at you for not seeing things the way I see it and I can't get mad at you for simply just doing your thing it is what it is you know and some people's eyes and be like, okay, you're overthinking this. It may be too simple. Okay, maybe I am. Hence, once again, why I'm saying I need a break. Because my mental, it's it's gotten to a point, y'all, to where it's just disrupting my way of life. And I need to get myself to a mental point to where if I see other people hanging out, that shit doesn't bother me anymore. Right now, it does. I feel left out. Like I said, you don't even have to hang out with me. You don't even have to hang out with me. But shit, can a nigga get a text? If we're all tight and friends, etc., etc., I can't even get a text. But getting a simple text apparently nowadays is asking for too much. Or it's coming off as being too sensitive or overthinking. And like I said, I also had a few moments where I try to reason with people, let them know how I'm feeling. It still came off wrong. So just to avoid the drama, I just shut the hell up and keep my distance. But now things have grown to a point to where my mental is being disrupted. And if things have gotten to the point to where it's disrupting my ability to pursue my passion with this YouTube thing and live my daily life and not disrupt my household, I need to take a break back, man. Take a step back and reevaluate it. This issue about people in my life, I've been dealing with this shit for the past three, four years. But the only reason why I never pulled the plug on anything is because there's been a couple of times where, okay, maybe I was overthinking. But that was the problem. It wasn't overthinking. It was just the fact that I had to accept this is how I felt. And I had a tough time accepting how I felt because I was afraid of hurting people's feelings. I was afraid of losing friends over it. Fuck that, bro. You outgrow people. And that's just the way life is. You know? I can't get mad at the fact that if I try to reach out and have a conversation with you, you know what I'm saying? And that shit last is really short or you're saying you're busy but then five ten minutes later i check snapchat or instagram i see you kicking in and hanging out with people i see mugs going out here doing outside activities and i can't even get a text with this covid shit going on you could do certain outside activities you can you know but it's like i don't, I don't know man it's it's i don't know that's why I need to take this break. I just need to reevaluate things and work on my mental. This video went a little bit longer than planned, but I don't care because it's me being raw and being honest with y'all. You know, y'all the reason that y'all one of the reasons why I haven't given up on my channel yet. But I want to keep creating good content, man. I want to keep making funny videos. You know, I, I love this shit. I enjoy it. But for some reason, my mental has gotten to a point to where it's like I can't even focus on my passion, bro. I can't even have my normal daily living because of all the shit I explained in the video and then the stuff I got going on in the past that keeps resurfacing. Um, I don't know, man. I'm kind of mad at myself too because I feel like I, I feel I wish I really wish I was in a better mental state to like deal with the issues a lot sooner. But like I told you, I had a reputation of myself that I just overthought things a lot. When in actuality, it wasn't me overthinking anything. That's just really how I felt. And now I'm just not in that point to where it's like, I'm respecting and accepting. If that's how I feel, then that's how I feel. And if I lose friends over it, I lose friends over it, you know? But the thing is, is that I don't feel valued and appreciated. I really don't. I got people that I only known for two or three months hit me up more than the people that claim to be in my life. I got people that I only known for like seven or eight months hit me up more often than the people I've known for some years. Now, if you got stuff going on in your life, even though I could check your Snapchat story and still see you hanging out doing your thing, but if you got personal stuff going on in your life, once again, who am I to get mad at you for it? Okay, you're doing your thing, you're, you're doing me, okay, cool. I have no right to get mad at you for it. And that's why I was saying, like, I need to take this break because I know some people are gonna look at it that way, but it's just me being 100,000. I thought I had people in my life that I was close and cool with, 
but they're still hanging out with one another and I'm sitting here chilling. And then I'm stuck being the one having to reach out, you know, like it's, and like I said, I've done my part in the past, but it gets exhausting when you constantly are getting left on red on some bullshit. And even though that's a little ass thing, Hey, what's up, man? You trying to chill? Get left on red. Or they were doing their thing. Or they just didn't have time to respond. These are examples of little things that I no longer should be getting mad at. Despite how close I am with the person. Despite how close. It don't matter. So I got a, I got a lot of reevaluating the people in my life. And I got to deal with these demons. Demons. I got to deal with these past experiences and really just pull my head together, man. So I just I just got a time out for a little bit, man. I need to, like I said, I'm 25. There's no valid reason for any of this shit to be bothering me to the degree that it does. But that's an error on my behalf. And this new month, I'm making the intention to fix it. I'm still gonna be trying to work on my craft and stuff just to keep my mind off of things. Or I'll try to, probably learn a new hobby or something. I don't know. But yeah, man, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I apologize for being the length that it is. I need to work on me. And like I said, I have no right to get mad at people for doing them. You know, if you can't take a couple of seconds just to see how I'm doing, if that gives you the impression that I feel like I need someone to hold my hand or anything of that nature, when that's not the case, like I said, it just takes two minutes. Hey, Jay, I saw your video. It's a great video. Aside from the video, how are you doing, bro? That's hard, I guess. In today's society, that is hard. I hold more conversations with people that I don't even know more than the people that are in my life that know me since elementary and going up. Maybe it's me being really late to accepting the fact that I'm not growing people. Maybe it's me need to work on easing up on my trust issues I have with people as a whole. Because these issues I've been having with these mugs in my life for the past four or five years is the reason why I have trust issues. Because I see people do the exact opposite of my definition of a friend. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it short here. Like I said, man, hang in there for me. Keep liking and sharing my videos. I love you guys. I really do greatly appreciate this or appreciate the, the support. I'll be back though. Y'all got my word on that. I don't care what nobody says, I will be back. I will be able to make some more content, great videos. I'm excited, you know, because I think this is the mental break that I need. I need to take it day by day and let stuff happen naturally instead of forcing things. That's one big key in life. Learn to not force things. Let shit happen naturally. That's where the best rich decisions come from when you let stuff happen naturally. But yeah, man, it's your boy Jay. I'm confident I'll be all right. I'm not gonna be gone for too long. But I just need y'all to stay tapped in with your boy hanging in there for me. I'm not giving up on this shit. I just gotta, I gotta get my mind right, man. Cause I've been losing it. I really have been losing it. But yeah, man. Catch y'all next time. Love, peace, positivity. Thank y'all so much for showing the love and support, man. I will be back. All right. Catch y'all next time, man. Peace.